something you may not know is that some coins are worth a lot more than just face value. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is an Australian 10 cent coin roll. Uh, pick this up from the bank. You can also get banks in plastic bags. Just depends on the bank whether they come in paper like that. And then you search through and you're looking for rare dates on the coins. So we'll see if we can find any in this coin roll here. So dates like 1985 can sell for six to fifteen dollars each. 1991s can sell for three to five dollars each. Uh, the 1997s two dollars fifty to five dollars each. This, these are recent prices, recently sold prices um, on eBay. So the, you know that they're um, wanted by collectors um, and they have been selling. So that's what I put these prices up. Um, the 2011s, two to eight dollars each uh, are some current prices on those. So these come from a list that I put together um, and I've just updated it. Well, here we go here. So a 2011 coins. So these coins, $2 to $8 each is some recent sales prices on these coins here. But generally speaking, around about that $4 to $5 mark is, is an average sort of cost for these. This has got a bit of dirt on it, so it'll pull the price down a little bit. Um, you can give it a, a little wipe with the cloth to see if some of that surface dirt comes off. But um, yeah, definitely hold on to your 2011 coins. All right, we'll keep on going, see if we can find any more. That's a really good find. Um, so it's a low mintage coin, that's why it's worth a bit more. So the 2011s, they only minted 1.7 million, which sounds like a lot, but compared to other years, it is not many. So um, they are sort of valued for collectors, or valued by collectors. Yeah, and we're just about done on this roll. All right, and 2005.